Uh, I hate Adele. Uh, I know that's like illegal to say here or something, isn't it? Um, I'm sure she's a nice person, but like I'm tired of hearing songs about heartbreak from a married woman. Like, you found someone, Adele. Shut up. Move on. You know? <laughs> Zip it up. Like, I want to hear songs about heartbreak from someone where if you turn up the volume loud enough, you can actually hear them slicing their wrist in the background. Like, that's what I'm looking for. You know, just someone who can't go on one more day, you know? Uh, I've been single for 10 years now, which I think is an accomplishment. Uh, I did it. <laughs> 10 years and forever. Um, I've been, like, I don't mind it, but now I'm at the point where I've been single for so long, I don't even understand how people get into relationships, you know? Like, whenever a friend's like, oh my God, I'm engaged, I'm like, what? <laughs> and I just imagine that equation from Goodwill Hunting, and I'm like, you. Yeah. You bought him a sweater one time, and now he wants to spend the rest of his life with you? The, the math is bad on that. Show your work. What happened in between, you know? Uh, I'm on the road a lot, so I'm by myself a lot, and I eat dinner by myself a lot. I did tonight, and it's fine. I don't mind it. Uh, and whenever, But what I do mind is if I'm having dinner by myself somewhere, and there's an extra chair at the table, because of course there is, because that's how fucking tables work. They set them up for two or more. They don't set tables up for one. It's too sad. <laughs> So if I'm sitting there in my dumb chair, inevitably some happy couple will come over and they're like, hey, do you mind if we take this chair? We see you're not using this chair. You're never going to use this chair, you fucking lonely bitch. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. Leave that chair. That chair is like a life jacket on a plane. I know I'm never going to use it, but I want to think it can save me. So if you could just leave that for me. That's a trick joke about how you're not going to survive a plane crash, you guys. Uh, you see that? Uh, I haven't been in a relationship in 10 years, but I have had friends with benefits. Do you guys do that here, friends with benefits? No, not really. That's where you start, that's where you start sleeping with somebody you already know and trust, uh, and then you accidentally fall in love and have your heart ripped out of your chest. Uh, those are not benefits. Do you understand? Those are fucking side effects. That's like if you got a new job and your boss was like, hey, uh, we're going to provide you with housing and three months holiday pay, and every Friday I'm just going to punch you in the face. Like, why... Why would you do that? <laughs> it seems unnecessarily cruel. Uh, <laughs> the, guy, the guy that I was dating or fucking or talking to, I don't know, it wasn't up to me. You call him and ask him what that was. Um, it was like one of those things where right away I was like, oh, I'm in love with this dude. You know, like two days in, which, you know, you can't say that because then you're crazy or whatever. Um, so I'd say other things to try and like just see where he was at, you know? I'd be like, I just... I just really like you, you know, I just want to tear your face open and eat your insides. I just want to unzip your flesh and climb inside of you like footy pajamas. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I'm like, whoa, don't get weird. I didn't say I love you, you know? <laughs> Relax, dude. Chill. This thing happened. One time we were having sex. This happens to everyone. Uh, but we were having sex one time, and he was like, oh, my God, the condom broke. And I was like, oh, my dreams are coming true. Um... <laughs> Not, what do you want me to say, I guess? Wrong answer. <laughs>